Good day, kids. Today we're going to listen to a story about a man whose rice had turned into insects. But before anything else, let's read these words first. Follow after me. Locusts, locusts. Although, although. Roughly, roughly. Rude, rude. There you go. How would you describe Lukoi? Let's find out. The Legend of the Locusts. Source: English for Learner's Manual. There once once lived a rich man named Lukoi who was very selfish. Although he had much rice in his house, he never shared any to the poor and needy. One day, an old beggar came to his house to ask for food. Lukoi was rude to him and told him to go away. The beggar, who was a bit deaf, asked again for food. Lukoi pushed him roughly out of the house. The beggar stumbled and fell. When he got to his feet, he told Lukoi, "A great misfortune will soon happen to you." Suddenly, there was loud and roaring thunder and a lightning flashes across the sky. That evening, when Lukoi went home, he saw a swarm of insects around his house. The air was filled with the noise they made. He went outside and found that his rice had turned into insects, which we now call locusts. How would you describe Lukoi? Great, Lukoi was a rich and very selfish man. Why do you say that Lukoi was very selfish? Correct, because he never shared anything to the poor and needy. Who among the poor and needy asks food from Lukoi? Good job, a beggar. What happened to the beggar after asking food from Lukoi? Very good. He was pushed roughly, so he stumbled and fell. How did the beggar feel when Lukoi pushed him? You got it right. He felt embarrassed. Hurt and angry. How did the beggar do when he was hurt and angry? Correct. He told Lukoi that a great misfortune would soon happen to him. What misfortune happened to Lukoi? Amazing. He saw a swarm of insects and found out that his rice had turned into locusts. What was Lukoi's realization upon seeing that his rice had turned into locusts? Very good. He realized that he has nothing left and he became poor. If you were Lukoi, how will you treat the poor and the needy? Good job. I will not be selfish. Instead, help them by sharing what I have. What is the author's intent in writing a story about a selfish man? Very good. He wanted to instill in the readers the value of helping and sharing. If you want to help and share, you may give some unused clothes and toys or anything to the needy.